my pen, bitch, I'm signing. I like those Balenciagas, the ones that look like socks. I like going to the Tula, I put rocks all in my watch. I like sexes from my exes when they want a second chance. I like proving niggas wrong, I do what they say I can't. They call me party, body, banging body, spicy mommy, hot tamale, hotter than a Somali. Burr, go, go, worry. Hop off the stoop, jump in the coop, pick the ball on top of the roof. Flexing on bitches as hard as I can, eating her life, driving a lamb. So that bitch, I'm sorry though, but my coins like Mario. Yeah, they call me Cardi B, I run this shit like Cardi B. Chance. I say left cheek, right cheek, drop it low and swing. Texas up in this thing, put you up on this game. I be parking my frame, gang, 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 gang. If you don't jump to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. Please don't give me hype, write my name in ice. Can't argue with these lazy bitches, I just raise my price. I'm a boss, I'm a leader, I pull up in my two-seater, and my mama was a savage. Nigga got this shit from Tina, I'm a savage. Yeah, classy, bougie, ratchet. Sassy, moody, nasty. Hacking, stupid, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Bitch, I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Bitch, sassy, moody, nasty. Hacking, stupid, what's happening? Mama tested. Mother approved. Yo, hanging out with DJ Savage inside the Angels and Devils Discord. We are recording this today, so if anyone misses anything, they will be able to review it later. I'm going to put on some background tunes and wait for this thing to kick off. I hope everybody's as excited as I am. I hope you're ready! Rim quick, però.
Hello, is this DJ Savage Elevate, Elevator Music again? Uh, well, I mean, kind of yes, kind of no. I don't know, I had some like mixes and mashups going, but I felt like it might have been just a little bit too hyped for, you know, an AMA. Get everyone I like, like it. I like it. Get everyone super pumped up, and then have to bring the energy down. I figure we'll we'll we'll, we'll ease into it, and then uh, be pumped up at the end of it when everyone's done talking. Yeah. They say money can't buy happiness. Look at the fucking smile on my face. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. All right. Looks like uh, D12 is like here, a- so we can uh, go ahead and kick this off. You're hanging out inside the Angels and Devils Discord for our AMA. Oh. Come on now. Hello, everyone. What's up, guys? Welcome. We're so excited to have you guys here. Yo, 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 yo! Yo, guys, can you listen to me? Yo, guys, can you listen? Yep, I can hear you. Cool, cool. All right. Um, well, uh, welcome to our uh, first... <coughs> <coughs> for- Thank you. Uh, guys, I don't know if you muted until we finish the, um, uh, with whatever, the presentation of the white paper and the team, and then I'm going to open for questions. If you have any questions, just, you know, uh, write in the chat, and I'm going to be happy to, you know, just jump in and answer. All right. So, uh, first of all, good morning, afternoon, evening. I don't know where you are located in the world. Thank you for joining us uh, in this AMA where we're going to be presenting officially uh, the project, the team behind it, and the white paper. Uh, not sure if you guys uh, had a chance to, to read it. We apologize uh, for the delay. We were trying to make sure that uh you know it was formatted in a nice way it is a working uh a white paper which means that we're gonna still be adding some information especially the picture uh, of some of us in the team and, and at the bottom in the end of the document before uploading to our website okay so just making sure to tell you guys that uh and now we're going to start uh, we will start introducing the team and uh, representing the, the, mo- the moderators and the community, I would like to give the, the chance to Grumpy Dad to present himself, present the team. And well, Grumpy. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great. Thanks, Tweet. Well, hi, everyone. Yeah, this is my first AMA. Yeah, these are usually just, just a weird time for me, like a 1 a.m. or something like that, because I, I'm i from other sides of the world and like the rest of the guys here. Uh, I'm here in Finland, Europe, so I'm plus seven hours ahead of the rest of the teams. So it's now half past ten for me, but it's fine, not too late t- tonight. So yeah, I'm grumpy dad, grumpy or Grumps, just for short. I don't care, you can call me what you like. And I'm a community manager and admin, Discord admin at the, here at Angels and Devils Discord community. So yeah, uh, I, what I could tell about myself, well, you can, if you can count, you can count my age from my username. So I'm quite young still and I live here Finland, middle of nowhere, but thanks to this modern technology, I can work with a great team all around the world, so no problems with that. 
So why TJ is tagging me? Is there? Oh, it's me in the <laughs> video there. Yes, I'm in, in my prime. Yeah, Fadels. I have well D12. Uh, I have known him since August or September or whatever, quite a long time already, and we have become good friends since we have worked in several projects together, moderating and stuff like that. So we, although we haven't never met like face to face, I think we know quite well each other already. And when he asked me to join this team, Angel and Devils, uh, I didn't have to think twice. I think it was really excel excellent opportunity to do something new for me. Yeah, this is the first project I'm part of it like an, from the very start. So it's really, really interesting. And the first Discord I have built from, from the ground up. So I hope you like the server. We will, it, 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 it's still bit work and progress and we will expand and add new features when we get more members and mint this done and stuff like that. So what else am I saying? Well, uh, I'm old, but I still li like Minecraft. I play with, I have started to play it with thanks to these NFTs and NFT worlds. And I have <laughs> uh, built in a couple NFT worlds already something for myself. and. So I'm quite familiar with the technology and like how to work with these NFT worlds and fractionalize your land and houses and like that. But I think that's enough about me. You can always ask mm -hmm. from me if you want to know something specific. So we could move to the our moderator team. So I know where Oh, sorry. Someone have a question? Or I guess that was, no. That was D twelve. <laughs> <laughs> it did okay. He's unmute, so okay. I <laughs> yeah. So I know most of the guys already from previous projects like DJ and Oliver and also DJ Savits. Uh, I haven't been in the as a moderator or in the same project, but I still have seen him in many places. Well, he's all around <laughs> in every place almost and like that. So and crew is uh, a new face for me here and uh, seems like an excellent moderator. And also Oda, uh, I get to know him from the Skookverse. So Oda is there in the Skookverse and we became also friends through that and now he's he also joins joined angels and devils team so there are some nice synergies there with, with these two projects angels and devils and skookverse but i think the team itself if they want they could tell us some something little bit about themselves so because all i know basically that they are great guys but like like they could, if they want to share some more, some more details, they could go now. So maybe start with the even older guy than me, Oliver. You can then pass the mic to someone younger than you. Are you Oliver here? Yes, so Oliver is actually just listening. Um, oh, okay. TJ so this, then is, maybe. this is TJ. Um, I've gotten a chance to talk to a lot of you guys uh, recently in both regular chat and voice chat. Uh, we've had a great time so far. We've had literally hundreds and hundreds of people go through these voice chats and, you know, we didn't just talk about the the regular, you know, every day, oh, I love this NFT. We were talking about real life. It was good stuff. Um, myself, personally, I work for the Postal Service. Um, I got the, the 4 a.m. shift, so I'm up real early. I kind of get the tail end of of the nighttime guys from overseas. Um, I, I've been with DJ, Oliver, Grumpy, D12, Zalamander for probably about since about September, uh, late August, uh, between various projects. Um, 
when D12 came to me back in, in December, when, you know, this really all started uh, to take fruition, uh, I was on board in, in a heartbeat. Um, we are, we're a group of, of passionate people, as, as you guys can surely tell by now. It's a, uh, it sounds, sounds sappy, but it's like one of those passion projects. Like he was so adamant about wanting to build a great team and put this together. And I really, truly think that he did. Uh, it's been one of those experiences so far that I would never ask for it to go differently. We've gotten, you know, those, those early morning Sunday phone calls. <laughs> it's, it's been a blast. You know, we do our thing yesterday. We all chipped away at the white paper for you guys, trying to make it as, as cohesive and easy to read as possible, but also delivering the information that, that I'm sure you guys want and need. The, uh, like, like D12 I said before, it's going to be an ongoing process as the space changes, the project will change, the white paper will change. Um, so we want you guys to understand that the, you know, the project for us is is going to be one of those things where we try to continue on, you know, a year in the future, two years in the future. So we want to make sure we're not limiting ourselves. But, you know, I'm sure you guys are going to have tons of questions. Um, you know, if anybody wants to know any more personally about me, I'm, you know, I'm totally an open book. I know as part of uh, a lot of people were asking for doxing of the full team. Uh, me personally, you know, if you guys want or need to know something, you know, you just feel free to ask and, you know, I'll get you whatever you need. Uh, sounds good. I guess I'll go next. Um, I will reiterate what, you know, what the other two mods or whatever said that uh, when uh, D12 asked me to jump on board with him, I didn't think about it for a split second. D12 is like a, a brother to me. I would follow him anywhere. I've been with uh, a couple of these guys on a couple different projects. And, you know, we've been rugged and had some hard times together. And, you know, honestly, I think it uh, everything, everything happens for a reason. And that, that kind of, uh, that stuff will, will pull a team together. And uh, D12 captured a, a great group of guys here. I'm, I'm excited to work with, with each and every one of them. Um, I'm... DJ, I guess. I do a bunch of streaming. If you'd like to see my face, you can pop on there. I have my MIS degree, I guess. I've worked for a bunch of different support companies. I worked for the bank, running their mainframe, doing their management, but major incident management, their overnight IT work for like a decade or something like that. So I'm used to doing a lot of things at once. We were monitoring like 20 applications and the mainframe and employees and stuff. So, I don't know. The bank uh, kind of shut down. They got they went through two different mergers and in the second merger, they laid off my whole staff. So I figured if we're getting out of the uh, banking industry, we might as well go with what's replacing it and moving on to blockchain stuff. So I'm super excited to be hanging out with everybody. Uh, I think like... It's already been said, this is a great group of guys. Um, you know, that's kind of where everything starts is with the, you know, trust and loyalty and inside the team and just having like the right intentions and, and just not being like, you know, a big money grab. And I think uh, D12's really uh, accomplished that by building, you know, the team first. You know, he, he didn't just like randomly go out to Fiverr or whatever and start hiring dudes. Like we, I've, I've known D12 what feels like forever now. Um, I, I'm, I'm usually around. You guys might see me in a bunch of different communities. So if you have any questions or whatever, my DMs are always open. Thank you, guys. Um, made me quite emotional. Man. It is uh, very nice to, to be able to come with you. And uh, I just wanted to, to start. I'm going to start in alphabetic order so uh, my head doesn't get messed uh, very quickly with ACES. And then it says you just call the, the next person, uh, like an alphabetic order, please. Absolutely. What's up, guys? Nice to meet all of you. I'm so happy this day has come. We've been working on this since, uh, as TJ said, like uh, mid-December. Idea came to fruition, so it's came a long way in these last, you know, two months or so. So super excited to have uh, all you guys here. Uh, yeah, you guys know me as Aces in the chat. Uh, my real name is Ethan. 
Uh, I'm a head of marketing here. So I've been in the digital marketing space for a while. Uh, I've been a consultant, been a marketing leader, uh, have a bunch of experience at different tech companies uh, in San Francisco, actually. So I worked for a few different startups there, um, you know, doing marketing and uh, social media and all that kind of stuff. So um, have a lot of experience in this space and I've always heard about, you know, crypto and blockchain and all that stuff. And I finally got into it uh, around like August uh, last year, July or August last year. So dove head in. Uh, whenever I get into something, I'm literally obsessed with it. So the last, you know, six months or so have been just nonstop NFTs, flipping, trading, figuring out the space, uh, all that stuff. So it's been super fun. And so how I got into this project is interesting. Uh, I was a desperate ApeWebs holder um, along with D12. And we actually met each other uh, in the chat. And then we also attended the Art Basel uh, down in Florida, in Miami. So we both attended this yacht party that we got a ticket to um, via Desperate Ape Boys, which is also an awesome community and how we met. So we, we met each other on the boat, had a bunch of drinks, had a good time uh, that night. And then we stayed in touch for the next you know month and a half, two months. We were just sharing NFT experiences, sharing you know the, the industry and stuff like that. And uh, following along on each other's journeys and then got the call from him one night uh, about the idea and I was on board in literally two seconds so I could not be more excited to be here with you guys and it's it's been incredible to work on our own you know project and we always say it but uh, we've just seen so many things go wrong and different things happen in other projects and other uh, you know uh, other nft projects so we kind of just want to bring everything that we've seen go wrong uh, not to our project we want to do the opposite of that so that's why we're always hanging out in the chat and the voice chat um I, i'd say we're probably the most active team i have ever seen by a million on on discord so it's super fun to meet all you guys that come in here um and we're really looking forward to the future friday is coming soon and we can't wait so nice to meet all you guys let me know if you have any questions uh, i'm obviously always here so uh pz you want to go next yeah, man, you can take it. So a little bit um, about myself. My name is Lucas. I'm Docs in the white paper. And as TJ said, if you want to know anything else about my, myself, just DM me. My DMs are always open. And regarding this project, uh, I actually met D12 10 years ago when we were studying and working in Australia. And we totally hook, hooked up. You know, we, 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 we became really good friends there and find out that we, we lived in one hour apart from each other here in south of Brazil. I'm Brazilian. I've been living in almost close to Uruguay. And so uh, when he, he asked me to to come up with this project, project with him, we started talking maybe in September of 2021. And we, we have been discussing for months. and. And try to come up with good ideas to to have something different in this space, you know, something that makes sense, something that generates value for the community. And when he brought the team and and we met everyone, I said, okay, we we have a good team re here, you know, we we can build something good. And that's what we have been doing for the past few months. We have been chatting all day. We have been discussing ideas, coming up with with uh, utilities. Um, doing everything in in our in our power to to give something uh, that you guys are going to see value in, on it. And this white paper that we just released it is the is the sum of all these. You know, of course we will be delivering more and more good things for you. But I think we have a, a good start here. And I just want to thank the community. As as you guys know, we have been organically since the beginning. That's something that. Uh, me and D12 talked for the since the beginning. Okay, we we said we gotta be organic, no bots, not no paid promotions, not not all of this bullshit. We want to do, we we want to have a good community that believes in us and and support us. And I think we did a great, a really good job building this. You know, so I want to thank everyone for listening to us, and I hope that you guys stick for a long time because we have plans for the at least the next five years we have something to deliver to you guys. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm gonna pass the, the 
is based to Salamander or Web3 Wizard. Go on. Oh, hey, how's everybody doing? I hope uh, we're all having a good day. Uh, I'm uh, mostly in charge of the smart contract end of things. We've got a fantastic group of marketing individuals here and our team on the Discord and our moderators. I love them all to death. Uh, my name's Chris. I went to university for computer science about a decade ago. Uh, worked all over the stack. Not really sure what else to say here, boys. That's what she said! Been very busy lately. Uh, stress is getting to me, but I think everything's gonna be fine. This is good. Uh, it's been a real uh, journey, and I look forward to uh, moving forward with all everybody. My Sal is the fucking man. Thank you, Zala. Uh, somebody else want to take over? Uh, Cesar, why don't you go ahead and then we have Field, and then I, I think I can take it from there. Cesar? Um, wait. Try it again. Hey guys, girls, and gender non conforming people. I am Caesar. I am the art director of this project. So I haven't been around lately on Discord because we've been working so, so, so hard to deliver all the content that you can see and look throughout all of our social medias. A little bit about me. So I am a bachelor in visual design and I've been working and studying professionally with art since 2017. And well, I've known D12 for literally my whole life. <laughs> um, we are really close friends and having him believe in me and also the art team to coordinate this project and making this idea real and material has been so rewarding, yet so exhausting. But at the end of the day, I am just really proud of what we're putting out there. And I hope, I really, really, really hope that you guys are enjoying. And I, I, at, the end of the, at the end of the day, I just want our materials to put a smile on you guys' faces because that's what art is for, you know, it's for entertaining people, for making people feel good, for making people feel connected to something that is beyond them. So for that, I really thank you for being here and appreciating our project. And I really hope to see you guys minting it on Friday and Saturday. Thank you. Thank you very much. Taylor. Go ahead. Am I supposed to speak? Are you guys hearing me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I wasn't prepared for that, but hey guys, my name is Kill Sailor. I'm a software engineer. I've been participating of the project since the beginning. Although, at least for the couple of last weeks, I've been a little bit busier with my job. Uh, I work for a company from the United States. Uh, my real name is Romulo Spear. I'm South Brazilian uh, as Lucas and, and D12. And that's been such an adventure working with these guys. They are really uh, a really good team to work with uh, and the last thing I've been doing lately for this project is the website. I know there's a lot of things to enhance and improve on the website so any feedbacks is appreciated. Um, that's it. Thank you very much guys. Oh, thank, thank you, you very uh, much. Uh, am I missing someone? No, right? Uh, the, the team is big, guys. We have uh, nearly 16 people involved um, as of now. 
uh, with everything that you guys can imagine. So very quickly about myself, uh, my name is Eduardo D12, right? I live in uh, Florida, Fort Lauderdale. I've been in, in crypto for the past two, two and a half years and uh, inside the NFT space since July, August uh, 2021, right? Uh, I found love uh, for the space, I found love for the communities, and uh, as the guys already said, uh, I've been around many, many projects and uh, trying to figure uh, everything that they were doing right and wrong. Uh, of course, uh, copying and adjusting the right things and making sure we, we, we weren't going to do the wrong ones, right? And uh, since November, uh, give or take, I started to talk to Cesar and uh, PZ about developing something that uh, could be uh, revolutionary. Uh, I, I didn't want to make a, a copycat. I didn't want to make something that looked like something else. I wanted to bring something new. And it took us uh, a long time, a lot of research, a lot of uh, people. Uh, we got surrounded by awesome people. So uh, nobody here is here because, uh, you know, they, they have a duty or something. They are all beside me and they are all helping me to, to run something that is uh, taking the proportions that I expected. Since day one, I didn't want to uh, invite competitions or... Uh, are, you know, putting people to be here. You guys are here because you want, you want to hang out here. You want to uh, learn about the project, learn about the team. And that's what we're going to do right now. So uh, uh, sorry about the introductions, but I think it was needed. Uh, uh, so you guys uh, have an introduction about the Angels and Devils. So Angels and Devils is a project that was created by Celestial Studios. Okay where uh, we're going to try to uh, give value to, to you guys on a play and earn game, owning virtual real estate, uh, earning value through your gaming experience using word token in the main part of its of it ecosystem. And then you, uh, I, I will make like a little disclaimer here. We truly trust and, and, and believe into what uh, ArcDev and Temp Tranquil and their entire team is delivering. And they play a big part in our ecosystem because if one day they stop delivering, we have to rethink some stuff about our project, right? Some details about the project. So that is why our white paper will be a working white paper. Because if it was a, a token that we created, we would have a, a, a better um, uh, control in some of the aspects. But at the same time, creating a token that didn't that that is not being used for anything, or we can't add enough utility and it doesn't generate value in the end, was a big barrier for us. So that's why we decided to well, let's choose a token that is uh, becoming solid, that has a team that is delivering, and people trust. And that's why we came with the decision about the word token as the main uh, part of our ecosystem. Uh, the, our metaverse will be called uh, the Celestial uh, City, just as uh, for a reference, but inside Celestial City, you're going to have Inferno City, which is the city of our little devil. And in between these both cities, you have, you're going to have a merge of these two cultures. Okay? As a holder, you, you're going to have a VIP access to these metaverses, which right now we are talking about two, and I'm going to explain uh, them uh, in this AMA. Okay? Uh, and you're going to be eligible for a share of the, pro of the profits within the NFT world metaverses, right? We, we hope to have ramifications of metaverses in the future, but as for right now, we can't uh, promise something that we are not sure how we will deliver. So step by step, we're going to be constructing a solid project. As PZ said before, uh, we are not looking into one or two or three months. We are here for the long run. 
And you guys are going to play a big role on this because we are doing a decentralized autonomous organization, a DAO mechanic, where you guys are going to be able to exercise your voting rights on each decision, especially any ramifications that we plan to do after delivering what is in this white paper. Okay. Uh, so, as you guys know, uh, a project overview, right? We have uh, 5,000 angels and 5,000 devils. They were completely hand draw. Uh, and I will bring uh, Cesar again. I, I want him to uh, give you guys an immersive experience about the art itself, which, which is going to play a big role in our metaverse construction and our comic book, our uh, merchandise ideas, and everything else that you guys are going to see. It, it plays a big role. And, and once you guys understand uh, the thought process behind this art, you guys will be confident behind the, the, the thought process about building the metaverse, building this brand. Because uh, nothing came out of nowhere, like, oh, all right, we're going to do it in art and we, we plan to do this, this, and that. No, we put months of thought and research. So, Tether, you can take it from here. Oh, okay. So, as you guys could see in the white paper under the section art, there is a full explanation about the art, which I'm going to try to put it out for you guys right now. So basically, the whole collection creation process was done in some different phases, which were the data collection and referential analysis, uh, definition of the concept, and the generation of the ideas. Having a structured methodology for the project and organizing it, so we would have then the final phase, which is the project execution. So on this first phase, we, we started researching for historical, cultural, and artistic references in order for us to create a solid basis for our narrative development, not only on the collection, but as D12 said, for our future products, which we are looking at the, the metaverse right now, mainly. So, also, on this first phase, we analyzed some of the similar projects that are currently on the market. So we could have an idea of components that we would add to our collection and the ones that we did not feel like were, were good or made sense with us. So with all of this information structured, we had a really good theoretical uh, idea of what we wanted to do with our project. So it served as a guide for us to start doing the sketches and then form our character base, which is a boneless mid-sized stone figure, as you could see in our cartoons and the comic book release, releases that have been published on our Twitter. And the idea behind doing the, the figure like this, it's because we wanted to represent an image that seemed flexible and inviting, but also imponent and a turn in its own cute way. So we wanted you guys to see them as a force, but at the same time as a hug, you know? So with that done, we then moved on to the third phase, which was the period in which we had this sort of pivotal moment for the collection, which was realizing that we had two characters. And at that time, when we were still on the sketches, this was very innovative for the space. And we had to stop and rethink how we would differentiate them. But at the same time, how we would make them seem like they come and live on the same universe, which is Celestial City. So 
with that in mind, we had this application of a very rigorous design project methodology and we established some artistic direction parameters which helped us solve this sort of um which helped us solve this this problem you know let's put it like that which is not really a problem but the decision behind this consisted in thinking about different as aspects of materials for the defining traits. So you had two characters and you wanted to differentiate them. So in our minds, it was like, okay, so the angel has got the angel wings and the halos, and the devils has got the double wings and the horns. But how can we make a personality out of these specific traits from each character? So from that, we decided about doing and leaning towards using soft materials and soft surfaces for the angels, like cotton, clowns, cookies, and anything that's fluffy. So naturally, for the devils, we did the opposite, which was using mostly hard materials and hard surfaces, like gold, iron, or wood. And then that was that for this sort of very specific traits, which are going to be the ones that looking at the image, you're going to be able to say, oh, that's a devil or that's an angel, because the other traits are actually shared since they live in the same universe. We had, we had to have this sort of common elements, but at the same time, this specific ones. So when it comes to the forms that were thought on the drawings and illustrations, we focused more on rounded shapes for the angels, whereas for the devils, we focused more on pointed edges. And this has also an exp explanation, which is because on the visual theory, theory uh, rounded shapes represent a comfortable feeling and this sort of pointy pointed edges they add some sense of tension and you know i guess tension is a good word uh which both of these it's like the comfort and the the high intensity of the the devil they are also represented on the shapes and lines so regarding to the characters there is one last main aspect, which is the skin colors. And as they are celestial beings, we chose non-human colors and took inspiration, obviously, in the classical associations that we have grown with, which is the blue for the, the blue tones for the angels and the red tones for the devils. Now, one cool thing, and I feel like it's very distinctive and very characteristic of our collection is that we chose to do purple and wine tone variations as supporting colors because when you actually mix red and blue ink, you get purple. But what's even cooler than that is that purple is and purple tones is the perfect neutral hue because it's made from a cold color like blue and a warm color like red. So we are going to be able to see that carried throughout our whole visual identity, both on the project and collection and on the metaverse and on our letterings. It's always going to be there. And it comes from this mix and match of colors. So when it comes down to clothing and headpieces, we had this idea as a team of making homage to geek and pop culture because it was very present in all of our lives growing up. So when you look at the traits, you may find references to movies, cartoons, comics, books, animes, games, and series. And so we basically cover almost all of the traits. And there's the mouth 
and close the, the mouth and eyes, which make the facial expressions. And for that, we wanted to tone down complexity a little bit so we could have a really good harmony between the elements and not having one overshine the other. So the specific artistic direction for this set of traits was making them lighter and funnier and add some sense of humor. So we're going to see some really exaggerated feature like the eyes, the heart-shaped eyes, the star eyes, or the really happy face and the really sad one. Brother go red. I think he did. He did go red. Oh. Whenever he he comes back, we can uh, follow. Um, uh, can you can you guys hear me or or did I character is up? Sander, you got red. And I guess that's it. All right, you you got red a little, buddy. Oh, okay. Like like well, like, like, like the last minute. Yeah. Oh, where did he stop? Oh, For you guys. You stopped when you were. Um, Talking about the super sad uh, faces. Uh, okay, so I haven't mentioned before, but I also live in Brazil, so sometimes the conditions are <laughs> um, not that good, especially internet-wise. But yeah, we were making these really exaggerated feature features, and then that's basically the whole collection. So the result of having this really clean and organized and structured methodology was that we could actually focus on delivering a really high quality of characters and traits. So we're going to have some shadows and some really thought uh, lighting going on on the traits. And that's basically it. Of course, I haven't done at all alone. We have shared the ideas between basically the whole team and I have also a really talented team of artists working with me and working also for you guys because as i said it on the beginning this is for you we were thinking about it for you for people who would feel it and we wanted to make sure that you would have a smile and have a laugh at some really funny and you know, specific traits or maybe relate something to your memory. And well, I guess that's it. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, so we're going to move to the core concept, right? Uh, we want to uh, basically merge the future of technology, artwork into one idea. And we believe that NFT works. Uh, can uh, give this to us, this opportunity to make this merging. And of course, uh, we cannot express the, the word value enough, but that is where, um, that's what, what we want to do in the end, right? And uh, we are implementing the, the dynamics of play to and learn. Because some people, they are more avid uh, gamers, so you're going to see these guys playing, you know, all day for hours, but most of us, we don't have this much time to focus on gaming. So that's where the value of holding one of our NFT resides, which we're going to be going over uh, right now. Uh, in the roadmap 1.0, uh, it is just about the mint progress, which is in, in the channel called Celestial uh, Map. And we also gonna be posting on Twitter today, right after the AMA, okay? So I, I, I don't really think I have to go over this because the information is there. Uh, it's been there for some time already. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the roadmap uh, 1.0, uh, just let me know in the AMA questions and, and I can go over that. About holder utility and perks. Uh, that's where uh, I want to focus on uh, very sensitive information, right? That's where we start all the sensitive information. 
So we have the exclusive access to the uh, P2 earn gaming world, earning world tokens in our ecosystem, as it is the main uh, it's the main token. Uh, you're gonna be able to earn this token through uh, metaverse battles in in the arenas for prizes, quest completion, mini games, and uh, some other things. The community wallet, as, as we just said before, uh, we're gonna implement the DAO mechanics. Staking, this is a very important part, guys. It is being studied by us. We're gonna implement staking, but right now we are in close talk with NFT world because as we have them in the main, uh, in, in the center of our ecosystem, we need to make sure that the staking is sustainable enough for everybody that is involved. So I, I don't wanna just uh, throw a staking uh, for you guys. And in the end of the day, you're gonna be making uh, a, a little amount of tokens. We are studying, we are, uh, we are talking, we are studying, it will be implemented, but in the right way, okay? Um, so that's why we, we, we put as it is right there. And, and I'm gonna say again, it will be implemented, we are talking about the NFT world develop, development team, but in the correct way, because it needs to be sustainable. Otherwise, one of the sites will break. And I can tell you by my experience, I played a lot of play to earn games and I've seen their economies uh, basically disappearing because one little mistake that they did, right? So if we don't make sure that this economy is running well, well, smooth and sustainable, we're gonna have a game for one or two months and then it's, it's dead, okay? So again, we'll be implemented with uh, enough knowledge and uh, in, the right, in the right way. Supporting cancer uh, uh, research charities is one thing that I will do because uh, I am a, a, a cancer survivor. So uh, we're not gonna uh, help directly with um, uh, donations. It is one way that we wanna do, yes. But the, the main part is hands-on opportunities, okay? We, all of you as a community will be able to help whatever uh, part in the planet you are located. The ma major closing brand collaboration, this is, a, um, this is a thing that we really wanna invest. We wanna make sure that our merch goes mainstream, even if we have to sacrifice profits out of the merch store, okay? Uh, we, 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 we are focusing on two audiences. The first audience is you, people that are already here, people that have knowledge in the space, but we want the main uh, mainstream public to look at us, not as a metaverse project, not as an NFT project, but as a company, as a business. This is what is, what is driving us to create a business. So in a certain way, you guys are not only holders, but like uh, owners of this with us, right? So just wanted to make this part very clear. Uh, the lore, uh, as you guys know, uh, the, the main, a concept of the lore is hell froze over and then uh, the, the devils, they couldn't stay, they couldn't last the cold. And then came the angels to bring them to Celestial City while they, they are dealing with the problem in Inferno City, which is the first story of our comic book, book which is Celestial Tale. Okay. The, the, our comic book will drive a lot about our metaverses. We have a storytelling MMO metaverse. So we are getting to, uh, to this part right now. Okay. Uh, we have a section here uh, about play to earn game on NFT words and what are NFT words. Uh, we made this white paper as educational as possible because we know that bringing the mainstream public we will need to make this information very clear, very easy to digest. We could have come here and throw a lot of technical terms and things that, uh, to be honest, uh, even I can't understand sometimes, but we made it sure that anybody, a person 
person that never had contact with blockchain or you guys that have been here for some time, you can understand what we are talking about. The game design goals, uh, uh, first of all, it's a skill-based game, right? So we, we will, uh, the game will need it to be competitive uh, because we want to allow uh, the dedicated gamers to earn from, from playing it. Uh, and we require some investments of time. If you want to play the game, our main idea when we pass the alpha and beta version is to be able to deliver around 100 hours of content. Guys, 100 hours of content is a lot of game. Most of the, the mainstream games, they can deliver from 60 to 80 hours. So bear with us, you're going to have a lot to do. And uh, the main part is exploring the map. Okay? Social gameplay. So uh, you know that uh, the games, the, uh, the social aspect plays a big part because it creates a better vir virality, improved retention. Uh, and I sorry, I have a typo, a typo there, but it's a better rate of engagement. And most importantly, organic growth, just like our Discord server. Okay. You as holders will have VIP access to areas where you can build a network replicating the idea of a Discord. So once you are in, in the metaverse, we want you guys to feel like you are basically on the Discord, sharing experience, uh, getting to, to know each other, strengthen relationships, and always sharing those very awesome alphas, you know, that is the main, uh, one of the main reasons why a Discord community uh, NFT related exists. Storytelling, as I said, we have uh, our first and main metaverse is an, a, a, a MMO uh, based and we have the story uh, line based on the comic book. Simple, yes, sustainable play to earn model. Okay, generating rewards from playing the game is important, but creating a simple mechanism for players who prefer to engage with the game on a different level and still earn rewards is equally important. And of course, we need a fun game because in the end of the day, you're not going to go to a, a game where it's not looking good or have bugs or some other things uh, that are uh, making your experience very difficult. About the project financing and initial revenue project, is, uh, uh, the, our idea is to deliver on February 25th uh, at 5 p.m. Eastern time followed by the public sale on February 26, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Angels and Devils, they have a cost of 0 0.04 Ethereum to be minted during the pre-sales and 0 0.05 Ethereum to be minted during the pub public sale. 24 hours before the pre-sales start, we're gonna set the amount of tokens for pre-sales and public sale, okay? During the pre-sale, uh, we limited an amount of five NFTs and 10 NFTs for the public sale, okay? These 10 F NFTs can be reduced to five NFTs. Uh, we are still discussing, but, uh, you know, as a reference, we will go with 10 NFTs for the public sale. In terms of secondary sales, we have a creator fee of 7%. Included when you are selling our PSPs, uh, we had a very big uh, discussion, uh, not not like discussing with one another, but like brainstorming about this. And our mint price is uh, somewhat uh, small. In order to keep the project running, in main aspects, we needed to have this seven percent, but we will open in thirty days time the opportunity of you guys to vote if you want to increase or if you want to decrease this value, okay? So in 30 days time after the, the, the public sales start, you guys are going to be able to, de to decide with us what you want to do with this percentage. Listen, we are not here to, to profit out of your profit. But at the same time, we need a, a sustainability because to run a, a, a project, to run a game, 
And to make sure you guys gonna get the value that you need, things cost a lot of money, especially when you tell people, hey, listen, I have a, an NFT project. The, they, they take their cards, they change, and, and, and everything gets 50 to 100% more expensive out of the gaggle. Future revenue. So as future sources of revenue, 15% of the reflection of the, the sales in the secondary market, whether we are talking about OpenSea, LooksRare, X2Y2, and others, will be deposited into the community wallet. And 10% of it will go to, uh, towards charitable resources. The rest will go to pay the team, okay? As for the comic book, all revenues that, that will come from the release of the first season will be shared between Angels and Devils holders. At this point, uh, it is difficult for me to tell you how we're going to do it because this will need legal validation. So we're going to look for this legal validation and we will make sure that you guys can profit out of this story. Second season, third season, we hope that, uh, to be able to implement the same mechanics. And for the merch store, at the first, uh, as I told you guys, uh, the, the idea is to go mainstream. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to uh, share anything because I don't even, I, I'm, I'm not even sure if the project will be able to make something out of the merch store because our idea, as I told in the beginning, is to go mainstream. Uh, uh, so the, the construction of the metaverse is underway. We are using a very fine NFT world builder, and he's basing a lot of the, the art on the uh, PFTs and on the comic book. Uh, heaven will have a more technological aspect, and hell will have a more classical aspect. But this is about the structure, and you guys are gonna be able to see more of it with the cinematographic videos that we're gonna be releasing, as well as with the sneak peeks uh, from. Uh, the mint week, uh, mint weekend on. Same methodology as I as I keep telling you guys, it will be an MMO uh, where we want you guys to have a main quest, which will be based in the comic book, and then all the side quests which can have relation with our cartoon, comic book, or just uh, mini uh, uh, side quests that we that we understand that are that look cool and that make sense inside the metaverse. Interaction mode is the most important aspect about the metaverse. You guys are gonna have a lot of Easter eggs hidden. Uh, it's gonna be very fun, and you guys know the size of uh, NFT words, so be ready to explore. Cosmetics. Every single cosmetic will be different. Each single cosmetic is a different NFT. These will be sold in our in-game mar marketplace. And uh, will uh, pertain to the Polygon network. One time that we want to minimize the uh, the gas fees, all right? Otherwise, if we make anything is inside Ethereum, you guys know that uh, is not sustainable to anybody. We have items rarity system. We have a, a common, rare, epic, legendary, and celestial. Okay. Exclusive metaverse experiences for holders. So in the beginning of each season, we might take from three to four months or uh, less. It all depends how our comic book production will go. You guys gonna be receiving mounts. For you guys that, that don't know, mounts is something that with your avatar can be on top and can move quicker through the world. These mounts are uh, free for holders and for non-holders these will have a price. Seasonal bag of items. So in the beginning of each season, you guys are going to be receiving a bag based on the NFTs that you hold. Uh, we, we put a layer one, two, three, and four. So layer one is one NFT. Layer two is two to five. Three is six to 10. And layer 10 is 10 plus. Layer one, two items, uh, two, three, three, four, and four, five items. These items, they are random. Doesn't matter if you have 100 NFTs of the project. It is not uh, 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 
like it's not 100 percent uh sure that you guys are gonna get like five celestial items they are random hopefully uh the ones that can receive five items they're gonna get the more rare uh drop but as i said random so give the ability of everybody that is involved with uh as a holder to have a chance to get this celestial item holders will also have unique quests uh festivals so we're gonna we, we are uh, very focused in doing masquerade parties halloween and christmas uh and our holders will receive a vip ticket to attend those parties some of these parties will be public so like a, a, a parade on the street some of these parties are vip and if someone that is not invited to this party wants to participate they can to the uh, to the most part they will be able if they spend their word tokens armory spend so being a holder will grant to a more status test to keep your items arena events so uh so arena events we have uh arena events that you're gonna be able to test their skills each season Angels and Devils holders will get one free ticket to show its skills in the arena. The arena will run, will run weekly. It's going to be a weekly event. You guys are going to have one ticket to access this arena. And then for the other week, uh, you have to bet your word token, right? If you are in the top of the, the, the ranking on our leaderboard, you're gonna uh, be eligible to win prizes, but the prizes are to be defined. Castle event is the perfect opportunity for you to test your skills again, uh, but with your guild, with your party. So we are trying to implement a system that we're gonna have around uh, six to eight castles implemented in the NFT world in our metaverse. We uh, they're gonna belong to a certain guild so you're gonna have an opportunity to bring a group of friends and challenge that guild to conquer that castle inside that castle you're gonna have access to new rooms new uh, new quests cosmetics and of course the best deal in the city paid holders right uh, imagine if you are uh, if you are able to be a NPC, which uh, is those uh, uh, like little avatars that stay around the metaverse, which you can interact, but getting paid in the world token. To, to, to manage a metaverse of this size, we're going to need people to moderate, just like a Discord server. We're only going to be selecting holders for this position so the holders that want to be moderators inside the metaverse of course they will go through a, uh, an entire process of interview and you guys are going to be able to help us to run this game uh, becoming a celestial warrior uh, it's an honor to serve the celestial army and only those capable of facing the biggest challenge or combat the most fearless warriors will be able to make it to the top ranking we're gonna have a pve where uh you can bring your guild together and uh find items in the in the in the metaverse uh you can rescue npcs or even battle some monsters we have the pvp arena which will be known as the uh arena of the fallen angels where you're gonna be able to um then your world tokens uh we are trying to create a system where you are automatically automatically used okay and the only thing that we uh want to tell you guys is make sure you don't fall right because uh, uh you you know you have to be in the top of the ranks that is the main idea of our pvp arena conquer the castle as i just explained to you guys we're gonna have jobs each season our idea is to bring two or three different jobs that you guys can do from fishing uh traders uh, uh or like crafting your wood items 
we're going to try to implement jobs for you guys. Leveling, just like a traditional MMO, uh, you guys are going to be able to level your angels and devils. Voxel collection, so I'm not sure if you guys are uh, aware of, of a voxel, is, but voxel art is like a pixel art, but in 3D. Uh, we're going to have a voxel collection, uh, hopefully dropping two to three months after the first uh, collection. And if you are a holder of two or more NFTs, you are eligible to get one of these voxel uh, NFTs free to meet, okay? And they are always, always multiple of two. So if you have four, you are eligible to two. If you have 20, you are eligible to 10. Utilities, utilities of the Voxel collection uh, will have comp uh, full compatibility with the NFT world, uh, but they will be less, uh, uh, how can I say, the Genesis collection will be more powerful than the Voxel collection. But this is a topic that is under development and uh, it will be discussed with the community. Which utilities could we bring to the Voxel? Collection. Very brief uh, vision of our second metaverse. I've always been a fan of amusement parks, and uh, I can't put this on the white paper, but I love Epcot. Epcot in Disney in Orlando, where they have little villages that uh, belong to different countries. So they have the German village, they have the French village, they have the uh, United States village. And that's what we want to do inside that, that metaverse. That metaverse will be focused on real estate, where, uh, 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 how can I say, holding more NFTs of the project will give you uh, a bigger real estate. This real estate will have a staking mechanism where you, you're going to be able to earn uh, world tokens. If you don't like your furniture, you're going to be able to exchange it. As bigger your real estate is, more furniture you're going to be able to add or exchange. You can do whatever you want with this real estate once in your hands, guys. If you want to hold, sell, or rent, that is going to be up to you. That is a part of the fractionalization system that we're going to be implementing. Uh, in, in, uh, I'm just going to jump a little the, the letter I'm going to be reading. You have a disclaimer white paper in the bottom. It is always very important to put this disclaimer. It looks a little bit scary, but uh, this uh, is just showing that uh, we are very professional with the documentation that we're going to be releasing to you guys from now on. A message from the Celestial Studio team, guys. Uh, process of creation is sometimes a very complicated thing. Thankfully, we are a team that thinks together, works together, and walks side by side together. D12 always had this idea of creating something new, innovating, and bringing unimaginable things to reality. He was lucky enough to find a team that gave him all, all the structure that he needed to deliver this amazing project to you all. Delivering a focus on delivering a focus on artistic detail, a grind-free community encouraging people to participate because they want to, and an entire metaverse creation for the community. We are going above and beyond in order to deliver a long-term project that will add tremendous value to its holders. Every single idea and plan was made with thoughtful consideration to the community. All the small incentives and everything noted in this white paper is an accumulation of our team's many months of work that is now coming to your attention. We are a group of very busy people. They are passionate about gaming, sports, liter literature, and movies. All of these ingredients, traits, and personalities together have created angels and devils. But in our formula, there was always one item missing, you. This would never be possible without your support and commitment to the cause. And for that, we will be forever grateful. This road to a successful project is not always easy, but it's extremely rewarding. And with that, 
please feel free to reach out to any one of us. We are here for the long run. We are here for the community and we are here for you. Welcome to the family. Uh, I'm gonna open now for a question. Thank you uh, to listen. I know it was a lot of things. I uh, just ask you guys to mute your microphones so we can assist one by one. That was awesome, D12. Everybody in the chat wants the the job that we put in the in the white paper, the job of being the tester uh, in our metaverse. So that'll be super exciting. All right, anyone have any questions? Feel free to speak up. Hello? Can you guys hear me? Yes, sir, we can. Yeah. So I was just wondering, so if you hold like an OG status, what does that, um, does that have any implications within the game itself? Do you mind uh, repeating your question? Uh, it broke a little. All right. So this might be helpful. So if, if, for example, within the Discord, you have um, an OG status or, for example, you join via Skuxverse, or for whatever stage you may hold, will these have implications within the game itself? Uh, the, the OGs and uh, so the OGs will be able to uh, be in our alpha. Okay. But one thing that I wanted to, to tell you guys is that we are giving OGs uh, and we will keep giving OGs roles to people, even though the mint is done, right? Because the OGs will be able to test this metaverse in alpha uh, alpha version, okay? That is the only thing. The leveling that you guys are doing uh, at this moment doesn't have any implication with our uh, metaverse. This is something that we can definitely look into. Uh, we have a very nice uh, leveling system in the server. Uh, uh, I think if Grumpy could copy and paste in the in the main chat our leveling system but definitely being an og of this project will grant you an early access to our metaverse if you guys are not ogs i'm again telling you we are giving these roles every single day All right thank you hello <clears throat> I, I had a question about the layers i just want to make sure i understood correctly the layers, does that, um, is that in regards to the number of um, NFTs that you hold? Like one, you know, second layer, you have two NFTs, or could you just explain the layers a little bit more? I don't think I got that. Yes, the, the layers are uh, based on the NFTs that you're going to hold. So the layer one is uh, one NFT. Uh, let, let me go back to the the thing is, so I don't tell you anything wrong. Uh, layer two is two to five NFTs. The layer three is six to 10 NFTs. And layer four is 10 plus. Um, the mount, they will also be uh, within these layers. But the, the mount, uh, they, they have a rarity. So just like the items, uh, the mount will have their own rarity uh, uh, layer, right? And if you hold the 10 NFTs for the mount, you will get a more rare mount than a guy that than a holder that, that holds only one. Okay, because these mounts they will have like a, a, a value in word token higher than the more common mounts. Okay, so if you, if, uh, if you have, for an example, 10 NFTs, you're gonna get a, a celestial mount, and that mount is more expensive than a legendary. Or a or an epic mount, for an example. Got it. Thank you. Hello. So you also mentioned in the white paper that obviously you guys are actively looking for collaborations and things with other projects. And obviously, as we've seen, we've seen. 
um people come in from nft worlds um fishy fam or that might be the one uh scoxverse and so on so within the game um uh, well sorry have, have you at the moment is there anything you can tell us if any of those have like come to fruition with your talks or is it still a work in progress yeah, as far as like collaborations and stuff, we haven't had any uh, anything we can share like 100% in the metaverse yet, but um, we are basically just picking, you know, projects that we all own and we all love um, and that many of us are part of. Like I, I always say in the chat, like we're most all of us are Grey Boys holders, NFT Worlds holders and uh, World holders, uh, if not all of us. So definitely just, you know, picking NFTs and ecosystems that we love um being a part of and then the thought would be yes uh, in the future we would like to add some of those to our metaverse in some ways you know in terms of like in marketplace you know he talked about the marketplace we might have things uh that you can buy that are related to other projects or there might be you know special areas related to other projects uh that only they could uh, enter if you have like that nft so there's a ton of ways we can go with this but we just you know we don't want to announce yet what we're going to do with it until we're, we're for sure um, what we're going to do. But yeah, the, I, the opportunities are pretty endless with everything that D12's said and uh, put together today. So super exciting. Yeah, thanks for the question. That's sweet. Hey, great. Thanks. Yeah, hey, how you, hey, how you doing, Aces? What's up? I have how a question. Um, I was driving, so it was a little hard for me to understand, especially... um. Eduardo sounds brilliant, but the accent, it was just a little hard to understand with the driving. No, no offense. It was hard, nothing uh, personal, but um, I got a couple of questions. Maybe you targeted them, but if you didn't, uh, I'd be happy to hear the answers. Yeah, go for it. What's up? Usually, a lot of NFT projects, they uh, kind of do like a grassroots thing, and then after the initial mint, that's how they build. They collect the funds from there, but you guys seem like you already had the funds. I'm just a little curious. Uh, how did you guys get it? Did you have, I, I noticed you said that you guys are all world holders. So did somebody donate their world and you guys pulled in your money? Or I just want to know how the resource came about. I can, I can answer. Uh, well, if I'm going to try to, to be more clear. <laughs> uh, no, no, no offense. Listen, you sound no brilliant, offense. brother. Sorry. I was driving. No, don't worry about it. No, oh, don't worry. No offense taken. I know my accent is a little um, uh, different. Uh, so, in terms of uh, investment, we have one uh, uh, one member of our team and myself uh, that invested uh, money into the project. So, I basically donated my NFT world to the community, and all the the giveaways, everything that you guys are seeing, it's also from my own uh, assets. Uh, this other investor injected uh, uh, money in order for us to be able to pay for some uh, uh, some, some of the, the the other things like uh, the people that are involved. Uh, there, you know, there is always uh, some salaries that we have to pay hosting this and hosting that. But I can tell you that th this investor that we had is a part of the community, and he's just a a guy that uh, uh, believes in us. In us in early stages, and then everything else is out of my uh, own pocket, which I'm uh, happy to to do, because it's not me who gonna trust in in this project, right? Uh, so I'm I'm happy to keep uh, doing as much as I can, because uh, as I told you, I I I trust I trust this project and I trust myself, I trust the team that is uh, with me. And I was had I, I worked my my entire uh, crypto life for for this moment. I think everything had a reason to happen uh, to, to meet the guys, and I was very lucky with my investment. So every, all my 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 energy and my resources are here at the moment. Okay, no, that's a good answer. That's very noble, of you. I usually ask that because I like to see if the money comes from the pocket of the founder versus they use venture capitalists or outside investors. Just you know, kind of is uh, you put your money where your mouth is. So you're not playing with someone else's money. You're playing with your own money. It kind of helps you work a little harder and show more passion. Um, another question I had, I remember you had said something about a f um, eventually some sort of like a comic book. I think I read that in the white paper. Yes. Uh, so about the comic book, uh, we are releasing pages uh, weekly. 
we are in talk with a, a big pub, uh, independent publisher, but the thing is, they will only publish the comic book when it reaches 32 pages. So, and, 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 and still, after it reaches 32 pages, they have to like adapt the language and, and do some other things. So as soon as we reach the final season, it will be available on Kindle for free to the holder, okay? And then it will be published in the mainstream uh, channel. Okay, yeah, no, I asked this because, you know, I've seen several projects that are doing the comic book thing, so I'd like to know what the IP rights are looking like because, you know, with the Bored Apes, it's like you own the your own IP rights. So sometimes you could do whatever you want with the character, but I like it more when there's a conciseness to the characters. You know what I mean? So like everybody has to follow a certain identification with the way that you guys are trying to appropriate it, if, if you understand what I'm saying. Yes. So regarding the IP, uh, you guys own your, your, your art, but we, we, we will have an entire section uh, about guidelines on how to use it. So it doesn't have a discrepancy, right? So for an example, somebody does some, something that uh, it, it is not in the guidelines, uh, it will have an impl implication. But in the end of the day, uh, we just want to make sure that the, the intellectual property of your NFT is yours. So if you want to make a shirt and, and, and you know, sell to your close friends or things like that, you're going to be able to, as long as you follow a, a set of guidelines that we will do in order to prevent uh, certain problems. Because as I told you guys, uh, if our idea is to go mainstream, we can't have people kind of uh, making our brand look in a way, uh, and this is a very bad word to keep. So we just have to be very careful. But yes, you, the intellectual property of your NFT is yours. Okay, no, excellent. I asked that just it's just more professional that way. Um, I noticed that eighty percent in the white paper you had said that there's gonna be some kind of a in real life event. Did a uh, destination get picked yet, or is that kind of just something that's gonna come down the pipeline? So not much thought is going into it. I just wanted to know a little bit more about the venue, if anything has been planned out yet, or if it's just kind of you're gonna just get to it as you get to it. So uh, the event it is set already. Um, it is uh, in one of the parts of the white paper that I can tell you. So we're gonna be participating in, in the Miami Art Basel in the NFT Pavilion, which is already our booth is already reserved, and we're gonna be hosting you guys in one art gallery in Wynwood. Um, we uh, we're gonna be able to disclose this within the next uh, two weeks because they ask for a uh, upfront payment for that. Uh, the thing is, Winwood will be full of NFTs this year. Last year was already a huge uh, event, and we're gonna be able to host, uh, all, I don't know, all, all of you guys, because it's gonna be like uh, a lot of people, I don't know if everybody can, can attend, but we're gonna make sure to get a, a venue that can hold uh, all the demand that we're gonna have from this event. We also gonna partner and that is uh, just an idea. We're gonna try to partner with other projects so you guys can have a nice agenda of things to do in Miami and don't come only for the, 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 the exhibition and our uh, art gallery uh, event, okay? Okay, yeah, no, that's good. That's really thoughtful. The last question that I had, I told you I came with a few. The, uh, the merch part, right? Uh, I don't. I I put it in my notes. So I don't know if my references are correct. Um, you're trying to get some kind of a collab with um a major brand, or there's already something that's kind of out in the air, or did I misread that altogether? Yes, we are trying to get a a, a major collab. Uh, so we are willing to to bleed the profit out of this uh, uh, merchandise in order to go mainstream with this, which will give us the ability not only to deliver in like many uh, parts of the world, right? But at the same time, to get to the eyes of people that are not related to the NFT. Uh, this is a thing that we are talking. I, 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 I want to make sure that we can get something out of it, but I'm not sure because 
uh, it, it is not just like us. Some other uh, brands, they also want to, uh, when I say brands, I say like uh, NFT communities. They are trying to close this deal and they are going very aggressive. But yes, uh, our idea is to go mainstream with the merch store and everything related to it. Okay. No, very good, AMA. Very informative. Um, I'm real bullish on NFT world and everything in the ecosystem. I own a lot of the world token. I have a Hero Galaxy. I have some Skuxverse tickets. And now I'm going to be a part of this. So I thank you for that. Thank you, my man. We appreciate your support. My man. Anyone else have any questions? I'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks for, thanks for being here. Hey, so I just wanted to add one thing. I, I had to step away for a second, so I'm not sure if it was touched on. Um, anybody that plans on minting using the world token, they have to be on the Ethereum network. How so much you, is the uh, mint for world token? We have not announced that yet. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, it'll, be, it'll be a snapshot of the, I, I believe D12 said 24 hours before minting starts. Okay, right on. I'm I'm uh, Mr. Future Maker. I'm the founder of Animal Craft, uh, one of the next uh, projects uh, planning to come out on NFT Worlds, building on 892. It's really nice to meet you guys. Really looking forward to this one too. Very nice, man. Hey, when you when you get a chance, open up a ticket. Okay, we'll do. We'll do. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure everybody knew that. So, if you are planning on minting using your world tokens. You do have to bridge them over from Poly to uh, to the ETH network. If you have any questions, we we can get a little tutorial set up on how to do it. Yeah, and yeah, you can mint, and you can mint with ETH. Obviously, it's ETH or World. Yeah, the bridging it can take up to three hours, so you don't want to do it like just before the mint. So, if you have your World token protocol, better do it uh, during the low cast time and uh, well in advance. So. And we will have a small guide, hopefully tomorrow or already, up in the Discord. So, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, just, you know, um, a certain basis, again, on what we covered. We presented the, the project, concept, team, uh, and the entire white paper and uh, its ecosystem. As you guys know, it's a working white paper. We're going to be able to... Uh, put its uh, version, official version, on the website uh, tomorrow. Uh, we also spoke about the website. We know it's uh, still a little buggy, but we are working hard in order to make it run smooth, especially on mobile uh, and tablet. The desktop is basically uh, good to go. There is only a little thing on top. We are very, uh, this is very important, very, uh, uh, our Web3 wizard, uh, Zalamander, he optimized the contract uh, very, very well. So you guys are going to be uh, paying very small fees uh, in Syrian uh, wise when minting. Very small fees. The guy is, is a, is a real uh, Especially genius. when minting more than one at a time. Especially. So, you know, it's, it's a good tip. Mint more than a third time. <laughs> um, in the end, guys, we are very paranoid with safety. So you guys, uh, you know, we are making sure our website and our Discord, the, co the contract itself, every, everything is being looked into details because safety is one of our priorities, especially everything that is related to your wallet, data, and, you know, whatever things that, are, you know, uh, you guys are worried. We are making sure that all these details are covered. So you guys are 100% safe. The situation that happened last night was very uh, saddening, and uh, we definitely not taking any, any risks. With that, uh, from the you know, I can speak for myself and the team. We thank you very much for listening. Uh, we 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 just ask you guys to keep keep helping us to push uh, in the social media, inviting your friends, your family, dogs, uh, pets. Uh, teachers and uh, neighbors, because that's how we're gonna get this uh, product sold, and that's how we can deliver everything that we just went through with you. I also want to thank all the team. You guys are fucking fucking amazing. And with that, uh, finishing this AMA. Thank you very much.
Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, everyone. See you later. Yeah, guys, great job. To the moon. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hey, really, really quick before – well, I still got you here. Hey, are you guys optimizing your uh, smart contract so, like, the gas fees would be really low? Is yeah, they're going to be they're going to be super low. Okay, sick. Yeah, Z- awesome. Zalamander Zalamander's got it set up. Uh, if if you're if you're familiar with how like toy boogers work, it's mm-hmm. going to be sim- sim- similar to that where you can mu- you can buy uh, mint multiples and it ends up being a really really good price. We included the quantity statement in the actual mint function so that a lot of the logic that is usually redundant isn't retraced. So it saves a f- a lot of gas if you're minting more than one. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Which we're You're all going to like be, right? Azuki. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. You're talking about the Azuki NFT Mint, right? It, any, for- it, honestly, it's like almost almost everything nowadays, um, to an extent, is optimized. Some better than others, but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be very similar to that. Where if you mul- if you do one, your price might be just throwing out numbers. Your your price might be fifty dollars, and then if you mint four, your price could be seventy dollars. You see what I'm saying? So it's like it's 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 marginalized to the amount you're you're doing. Amazing. Okay. Very cool. Perfect. You guys are gonna kick ass. Super excited to be here. Yes, sir. Anything else you guys got? I, I mean, if you're still gonna be on, I had a question about the levels in the white paper. You mentioned that there'll be levels for the character, and I'm wondering if there's a difference between levels between holders and and um, free to play and you know what levels? Well, I mean, what what do they do? When you when he was saying level, you're talking about the section that he was talking about with the um for the items. Oh, oh, maybe maybe I I confused that then. I'll, yeah, I'll take a look. That's at that. the yeah. If you look at that section, it's right where the uh, exclusive metaverse experience is. That section right there is where the it's layer one, two, three, four, and it's based off of how many you you hold versus how many items you'll receive from it. Got it. Thank you. Um, I had a quick question on uh, in-person events as well. Um, I think it was laid out that um, uh, I think Art Basel, uh, but I was wondering if you guys had uh, any other plans for it as well. In terms of outside of of the Miami event. Yeah, yeah. I think that'll be uh, be one of those things that we have to we have to touch on after the fact. This was something that we had had planned uh, that we wanted to do from from the jump. Um, and primarily D12, he lives down in Florida. So it was a little bit easier for him to get those things set up. If we go anywhere else, it's going to take a little bit more uh, lo- logistics to to make that happen. i um, not saying that it won't, but it'll be one of those things that we'll have to look into at a, at a later date. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, I, you know, thank yeah, yeah, he's he's part of um, the Desperate Ape Wives community, and they've had some stuff where they were in London, and you know, they also went down to Miami. So there's a you know, there's a precedence for it out there. So there's nothing saying that we can't make that happen. Yeah, yeah that would be sick. All right, thank you. All right, guys, if that's it, then we are good to go. If you have any other questions, feel free in the chat. Um, anything technical you need, um, you know, you're more than welcome to open up a ticket if we can. You know, get it all taken care of for you. We will. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. I'm really feeling it. It ends here. Goodbye.